Hello again YouTube! Time for my next Transformers unboxing reveal and today's bot he's not different in himself but different in what he represents as a whole. Now bear with me all will be revealed soon enough but this guy is the first one of my reveals that's going to be part of this type of uh, robot uh, theme or whatever you want to call it. He's an Autobot. He was introduced uh, Late in the second season. Now, the second season of the Transformers cartoon was the biggest season. It was a whopper. I think it had 65 episodes, something around there. Don't don't quote me on that. And uh, and he was introduced kind of right near in the last handful of episodes, um, kind of out of the blue, um, like a lot of those later Transformers were, um, like Skids. I did him a while back. All of a sudden, he was just there one episode, right? Same thing with this guy. All of a sudden, uh, there was an emergency going on. Uh, he was called upon, and... All of a sudden, oh, there's a, there's a new robot, right? Um, and uh, I guess without further ado, this bot in question is the Autobot Streetwise. Streetwise, or Fuzz, as they call him on this, which is funny because our cat's name is Fuzz, so this is kind of my cat's robot. Anyways, he is different. Uh, as you can see, he doesn't look that different, but he's different in that he is part of a team. This is the first robot I'm revealing that is part of a combiner team. So, Streetwise was a member of, or is a member, of the Protectobots. Uh, the Protectobots were... Kind of the Autobots answer to Megatron and the Decepticons uh, carnage that they caused, not aimed at the Autobots, but the collateral damage that the humans and the Earth uh, uh, were inflicted, was inflicted upon them during the battles between the Autobots and the Decepticons. They were kind of a, an emergency response team. So Streetwise here is a, uh, is a police car. So um, his kind of persona is that uh, He's very detail oriented. He doesn't miss anything. He's very good at piecing clues together and, and fitting in with his environment and adapting. And, uh, and, and he's a very clever bot and, and, and tenacious as well. He doesn't, he doesn't give up um, until he uh, you know, gets his whatever task he is, he is met with uh, until he gets it done sort of thing. So um, now the other bots um, in the Protectobot uh, family. Um, there's Blades, the helicopter, um, Groove, the police motorcycle, First Aid, the ambulance, and then the, the big guy from the team, the leader, Hotspot, who's a blue fire engine. They haven't been released yet. Um, I think one of them has been slated to be released in December. So this is going to be kind of my main video for the Protectobots, and then as the others are released and I get them, I'm just going to do quick little videos for each of those characters and post the link for this video in it. Um, so you can maybe, if you need a refresher on the protective bots and that sort of thing, you'll know kind of uh, where these guys fit in. So, but anyways, here is a sequence of clips uh, featuring the protective bots and Streetwise. Um, I think the first few clips are all from what I believe was the protective bots' first appearance in the cartoon. Um, and then the last one is from the episode afterwards when you actually get to see them combined into Defensor, which is the big robot, uh, what the big robot's called that they all combine into. So let it roll. This area is inhabited. It's too dangerous. We can't fight anyone with all these people around. <laughs> Attention, protector bots. Evacuation assistance needed now.
too fast outside. They'll be fine, at least till the ice melts. There's junk all over the street. Now, where am I gonna find parts? So those are all really short, kind of uh, brief clips, all combined into into uh, one another that kind of highlight the function of the Protectobots and uh, and, and the, the purpose they served for the Autobots. Not necessarily engaging in the Decepticons first and foremost, but protecting human life and and you know, putting out fires, so to speak, uh, literally. Um, so, in my opinion, I really loved the Protectobots when I was a kid. I didn't have Street One, Streetwise's G1 toy, but I had, I think, three of the Protectobots, and I was only missing two of them. Streetwise and Blades were the only two I was missing. And I really liked uh, their whole um, kind of protect the humans kind of emergency uh, kind of aspect of, of their uh, persona. And, and I really liked them as a kid, but in my opinion, they weren't featured in the cartoon nearly as much as they could have been or should have been. Um, so, and that was kind of my problem in researching them and, and trying to find stuff. They, they really weren't in that many episodes. So, um, so that was kind of the best little, uh, I thought maybe that the, when they're first introduced in the cartoon and then a little bit of defense or action at the end, that's kind of the best. I could really find on short notice uh, when I started researching for this video and, and once I decided I was going to reveal his character next. So, But anyways, you kind of get the gist of, uh, of what the protective bots are all about and you even got to see Streetwise uh, transformed into robot mode and, and say a few lines there um, sort of thing so you kind of get an idea of what he's all about. So um, here is a look at his G1 toy. Like I said, I never had that one. I had three of the other ones, but his his car mode looks really cool, but his robot I found kind of could have been a little better. Um, and of the Protectobots, uh, it's only the main guy, Hotspot. His transformation was really neat, but the other ones all could have been maybe a little better. But uh, either way, when you I could get Defensor kind of formed with one leg and one arm, but uh, you could tell that if you had all five of them and you and you turned them into defense or it would be pretty awesome right so um but anyways so that is what streetwise and the protective bots are all about let's get this guy out of the box and see what he looks like uh in this new reimagined up-to-date uh mold time to open up fuzz it's been the first uh Oh, I guess it's not the first X Trans out in a while. Cup was one, um, but uh, like I said, I really like X Trans Bot's uh, style of toy. So, oh, he came in robot mode, not car mode. Damn it! Oh well. Anyways, as per the huge. we got some instructions. It looks pretty thick. I'm kind of frightened. Although I guess maybe they've got to show you how to transform him into the uh, the leg for Defense War as well. Um, here is his little card, which is all sealed up in this plastic. But I'll get that out later. And here is the man himself. Blaster. Extra face. He's looking pretty good. Rubber wheels. Oh, look at those old rims, right? Like he's he's a what a, an old Nissan or something like that from the eighties or nine. Yeah, eighties obviously. Um, and uh, look at look at those rims. Nice rubber tires too. Like X Transbots, they do it right. But, uh, is there anything else in here? There's some other stuff too. Always got a few faces. Yeah. 
few different faces to choose from and a blaster and there he is. So we are going to um, get him transformed into car mode if I can. <laughs> See what he looks like in that mode as well and, uh, and then we'll finish this thing up. Well, I decided to abort the transformation process because I was doing okay. It was a couple spots where I was like, hmm, hmm, okay, got it. Um, but the further I got into it, the, further, the more I was like, am I gonna be able to get this guy back into robot mode after I've got him into car mode? Because there's just, especially in the arms, there were so many tricky little flips and flops and do this and do that. And then as I got further into the body and stuff, I, haven't, I hadn't even got close to doing the legs yet. And I was like, oh my God, you know what? Do we really need to see car mode that badly? Not so much. Um, and like I said in, in the past, um, Masterpiece, the Masterpiece line is obviously my favorite. X-Transbots is my second favorite, but I also find that with X-Transbots, um, their transformations are a little more intricate and, and fine small parts and the only transformer I've broken so far has been from their line. So I get a little gun shy when I'm doing the X Transbots transformations like Cup last time, uh, I didn't get him done either. So, um, so, so when it is an X Transbots toy, you can, there's a good chance it may not be getting done. Um, which is why I would prefer it if they packaged up their toys in vehicle mode when it, when it comes. Um, I just find that easier uh, to deal with rather than transforming it into vehicle mode and then having to go back, right? It's just one transformation into robot mode and, that, and, that, and then that's where I leave it. So, but otherwise, like, uh, streetwise looks perfect. Um, like I said, lots of fine detail. The tires and the rims really make it stand out. Um, the brake lights back here, um, you can't really see them, uh, totally make it look exactly like a Nissan, uh, 240 or whatever the hell he was. Um, the back hatch, uh, and, and another thing that he comes with is uh, his siren panel here that flips up and goes on the roof um, in car mode. Actually has batteries in it, so I think it actually flashes. I don't know if it makes noise, but, but it definitely I think it flashes and lights up. So um, a couple little details like that that make him kind of stand out. And, uh, but otherwise, yeah, just a great mold. Uh, looks just like he should from the character. Oh yeah, and the flip up headlights, which are in his arms there. Um, so, so many things to make him instantly recognizable as him and to also portray the realism of the type of vehicle he was back uh, during that time frame in the 80s when those uh, those Nissans were so prevalent and so awesome too. So, um, but anyways, Streetwise, part of the Protectabots team that forms Defensor, one of the legs of the beast. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and like I said, I believe it's the other leg that's supposed to be being released in December, so I hope to get him at some point and, uh, and eventually tack on all the others if they do eventually release them. So I will be featuring them hopefully in the future. Um, but in the meantime, I have many more to get through, so stay tuned for those and uh, we'll be back at you soon enough.